You can offset them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you can compensate one for another, or you can you 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 can, for instance. Um, but does it revert back to the mean? And that's not the proper way to put it. But let me explain what I mean. The example you give of just like running a marathon into perpetuity, right? Like that's not possible. You have to stop at some point. So yeah. like, let's say someone just runs an actual marathon, 26 yeah. miles. Yeah. And in your scenario, they're experiencing time in a different way. Yeah. When they stop, they yes. get across the finish line. Now does t- now do the atoms almost go? <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, they don't. They don't. But the reason I, uh, in 1905, then the reason I'm not starting to understand what happens when you stop is because then you need to understand what happens when there's a, an acceleration or a deceleration. Mm. What happens when your speed changes? And in 1905, Einstein came up with a theory of special relativity where the notion of acceleration wasn't yet built in. In fact, now we know that there's a, com- well, he knew there's a complete equivalence between feeling acceleration and a gravitational attraction. And, and, and I don't know if it's, you, you can feel that, but if, if, you, if you actually try to, to feel what it feels right now for you to be pulled towards the surface of the earth, just feel how it feels on your, <laughs> on yeah. your bum. Can you really tell the difference between that and actually what, in this room, for all I know, we could be in the middle of outer space and we could be in a shuttle pushing me, in a rocket constantly pushing me with acceleration. And I wouldn't tell the difference. I don't know, in fact. What if, if I'm trying to think of what I would, would I be able to tell the difference? It, it's not true. I can't. Meaning like if you were sitting within the object, the rocket itself, that's, that's right. accelerating. Pushing me. Yes. Constantly pushing me. The feeling would be exactly the same. You wouldn't be same. able to tell the difference? You can't. It doesn't like pull you back to your seat like that a but, little bit? But, but you, no, no. That, so that's just a, a question of direction. Yeah. Yeah. But the direction can be exactly the same. And But we know that. You oh, see, relative you, to the ground you're yes, on. Yes. Got yeah. it. Okay. So we all seen okay, – I'm sure you can see some of those science fiction movies where um, there's a um, cylinder – uh, rotating cylinder and it makes artificial gravity in some of those. Uh, um, in what is it? Mm. I know some of those in, uh, science fiction movie. You know, you are in in this uh, in outer space in the middle of nowhere, and you have this cylindrical object. Oh, it's in like Interstellar, where it's just is it in Interstellar? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can we pull up? Go to the beauty of Interstellar mm-hmm. on YouTube. Alessi, you can tell I've used yeah, this Yeah, exactly, before. exactly. That? That's yeah, right, yeah. yeah go to so the, the top <laughs> left one, yeah. And if you actually, can you go back for one second, Alessi? That one's a good example, but I, I want to just check if I'm thinking of this right. See the one with the pink matter or uh, like orange, reddish matter up right there? Like that? Yeah. That was the one I was yeah, thinking yeah, of. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so they're far away from anything. There's no earth there. It, it looks like there's just a cloud of, um, of dust or something like that. Um, but let's ignore that. It's just for visual effect. I think okay. they have it. There. So it's a round thing, and it's actually rotating so that people inside are being pulled out, and they do that so that they feel artificial, as if it was an artificial gravity from the Earth. So there, I don't know if you ever went to like an amusement park where they had yeah, this, but exactly, you know, like exactly. the the, the gravity. Right. It That's might right. have been called like the gravitron. That's right, right? Yeah. right? That's what. Because before Gio and I were talking, and I'm like, yeah, this lady yes. works in gravitrons. He's like, it's gravitons, you idiot. I'm like, ah. yeah, he was right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. So this is all day long. I'm going to. <laughs> but that would it would spin yeah. you fast enough, and it's not going to like the ma- the maximum speed you'd yeah. go, but yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. be able to eventually like kind of like stand up almost yes, yes, but from exactly, the side exactly exactly wow. exactly so this is telling you that the acceleration can compensate gravity mm. or vice versa so in fact there's a complete equivalence between gravity and acceleration a complete equivalence and there's a complete equivalence for Meaning, an- like an like they i'm trying to think of this correctly it's almost like there's an offset there Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's a huge, huge help. Thank you. You can offset them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you can compensate one for another or you can, you, you, you can, for instance, um, think that one is the other one. Mm. Just like now, in, because it's, it's, it's all dark in here. In fact, I don't know. You're telling me that we're on earth, but for all I know, 
just shoot us out in outer space. Or we could be in another dimension. Michio, oh. Michio Kaku is like, if I just turn the transmitter a little bit this way, it could be a dinosaur in here. Because that's a whole that's different, a- that's what scares me too. Like when we start talking about whether or not the dimensions are constantly like overlapping with each other to an yeah. infinite degree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that goes beyond gravity. That gets to like, wait, is this Oh, is that's this just a gravity. Simulation? That's all gravity. That's just gravity too? That's all gravity. Come on. <laughs> it's all space time. <laughs> all right, wait, define space time then. Uh, space time? Yes. Um, do, do you know what time is? Yes, I okay. think so. I don't but know is what time relative? is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what time is, so please explain me. <laughs> it's a great song by Hans Zimmer. Oh, uh, okay, good. <laughs> do you have a song about space? <laughs> no, I, I mean, like, to me, time is just, it's the, it's, it's the, I mean, it's hard to, like, say the definition without the word, but it's like the elapsing of a moment to a new moment. Right. But you guys, when you look at this, you do question it to your point where it's like, well, is that just a figment of our universal imagination in a way? And time doesn't actually exist. So I don't even need to to go into that. I'm happy to have time. I like I like uh, well, I don't like time, but I'm happy to have time. Right. Um, but it's it's relative in the sense that it, it, it's much of a muchness of what time is as compared to what space is. And we don't think of it like that in our everyday life. But if we are starting to travel quite fast, then we travel in time and we travel in space. And our notion of space and time can get mixed in a little bit into Mm. one another. And so that's why we often talk about space and time together, because we can't really separate them both. They They are wedded into one concept. Because it, technically, not that we've been able to experiment with this literally ourselves, but it goes back to, again, not perfect science, but maybe like the idea that they paint in Interstellar, where you go far enough out into the universe, maybe you get involved with a black hole, and the time that elapses for you could be 10 years, but that's it could be 100 right. years that's here. That's right. That's right. Okay. Exactly that. So, so this is exactly where we're going. When we had um, Einstein's theory of special relativity in 1905, he was just considering for simplicity to start with. He was just considering speed which would constant, constant speed. Now, if you want to ask the question of what happens if I start running a marathon and then I stop, I need to change my speed. And so that corresponds to acceleration. And Mm -hmm. and acceleration is the same thing as gravity. And so now, really, when we want to understand what happens in more realistic situation, we actually need to bring gravity in the game, bring acceleration in the game. And to understand that, we have to go even further in how we are thinking of a notion of space-time. In special relativity, the first thing is that space is not separate from time. They can mix into one another. So already there, we see that it's something quite, quite fun. It's really, really fun in itself, and we can experiment with that. But once you start including acceleration or gravity in the game, you all see in this picture, you actually see that space-time take even some life of its own mm. and can start almost moving, moving apart. And you, and you, you, ha- you, you can think of, you, you see in those pictures, um, for instance, the, the black hole on the, yeah, this, this you can think of it as space-time. This is space-time starting to be curved because there's a black hole in there. And so the understanding from Einstein's theory of general relativity, which is a theory of gravitation in 1915, was the realization that when you start having masses or energy or anything which is non that exists is non-trivial, then it actually makes space-time come into life mm. and, and curve. And it's not just all boring like, like a flat surface. It's actually something that has some curvature. And so to go from one point to another, it's actually n- not completely trivial. And this is, now this is precisely in this picture where, where the, the way you experience the flow of time is going to be even more different if you're close to a black hole, if you're close to something which is very curved like that as compared to what uh, you're experiencing here on Earth. Now, when you're saying curve, though, you're referring to the shape of, say, this black hole area literally. I'm referring, in fact, to the space-time. The way I'm thinking of it, and maybe this is what you're saying, is you're referring to it almost like I'm picturing a curve on a chart. 
right? Like an X yes. versus Y axis where it's like you would think time and space are supposed to go in a straight line diagonally up at a 45 degree angle. But as you move within space, it actually flattens out because you may be moving into space at a faster or, or at a slower rate than it is experienced during the base case of time. Does that make sense? So it's not just in time. It's not just about what happens in time. It's really even what happens in space itself. Mm. But it's hard for us to represent it in our head. Maybe you can. I, I can't. So it's very hard. It's very hard. But but so for me, curved space is, you can think of it just like the surface of a trampoline. And, and that is a curved space. You, you think of a trampoline, you put a ball in the middle, and you see that the, the fabric of the surface start becoming curved. Yes. Now, there's, there's some issues with this analogy because the, the reason it becomes curved is not because so much of the mass being present in the middle is rather because the mass wants to get attracted to the earth, and so that's what makes it curved. So, so the analogy is not perfect, and the analogy is also not perfect because space-time is not curved within something else. Mm. Everything is space-time. There's not such a thing as something beyond our space-time. Space-time is everything. There's not a there's not a point where space uh, stops and then there's something beyond space-time that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So so the analogy is not perfect, but but you can represent the notion of curvature of space in the same way as we may think of the how a fabric is curved. That's okay. But the thing is now. Want to want to want to think of gravity. Want to want to think of the flow of time as well. You need to think of a space. Uh, uh, sorry, you need to think of a curved space time, and mm. and that I can't really represent it in my head. But it's true that when you are in different points in there, you will start seeing. Uh, Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.